Hey guys, how the hell are you? Welcome back once again to Mini Bottle Monday here on Arnold Drinks. My name is Arnold, and tonight I drink. So once again, a little gift from the always awesome Mr. Eli Schott. This is Shivas Regal 18-year blended scotch whiskey. Gold signature, it says. 40% alcohol by volume, as a lot of scotches tend to be. This is a blended scotch whiskey, which of course means that it can come from any number of distilleries, but being that it is an 18-year age statement, everything contained herein is a minimum of 18 years of age. All right, let's try this. So the nose on this is kind of interesting. I'm getting a lot more of notes on the aroma than I would expect for being only 40% alcohol by volume. Maybe I've just been spoiled by all my high-proof bourbons lately, and this is just kind of different for me. That is really interesting. So I'm getting a lot of typical scotch notes, the stone fruit that's in there. There's just a slight whisper of peat that's in there, but that I kind of noticed right away. I'm still a little traumatized from my experience with that beer not too long ago. But yeah, a little bit of peat, bit of chocolate. There's like a little trace of something desserty in there. Like chocolate malt, bit of honey in there too. Bit of honey. That's actually probably a really good descriptor, like bit of honey candy. I get a lot of that coming through on the aroma there. That is, ooh, that's interesting. I dig that. I dig that a lot. Yeah, just kind of a sweet treat for a blended scotch. Maybe I need to try a few more if I'm going to find a few more options that are this sweet. Cheers. Oh, okay. So, so first of all, I'll state that the finish is really, really lacking on there as far as length goes. As far as depth, it's really cool. It kind of lingers for a split second. You've got a lot going on with that finish, but then it's just kind of gone. And, you know, uh, in order for me to kind of go into this a little bit more, let me have another sip. That chocolate note and that honey note are definitely carrying over. Definitely getting a slight melon flavor in there, but it is not the key player at all. You've got chocolate, you've got vanilla, you've got a bit more vanilla than chocolate, I should say. You've got kind of a lack of oak, which is not necessarily a bad thing, because lately I've been finding that me and oak have kind of a love-hate relationship. Like when I'm getting too much oak out of my whiskey, I feel like it kind of detracts from anything else I could find remotely enjoyable. With this, I kind of feel like there's hardly anything there, so it's extremely, extremely easily sippable. But yeah, chocolate, vanilla, lots of honey, a little bit of caramel coming through on that too. Like, hmm. What is that? There's something interesting in there that I can't quite place. It's not grainy, it's not super dry or anything, but there's something in there. Hmm. So like on the aroma, I was mentioning bit of honey candy, how it's got that sort of like candy-like character to it. On the palate, I'm thinking a little bit more like mounds. A little bit that candy bar that's got a little bit of coconut in there it just has a slight little hint of a coconut thing in the background that's kind of going along with the honey and the chocolatey kind of notes that are in there and the vanilla for sure uh, that fruit note really 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 wants to come back through but it is definitely just not the star player it's like the dude that's on the bench going hey coach can you put me in and the coach is like no 
we're, we've only got five minutes left in the game and I need to score some points. No, you're not going in. That's kind of what the that sort of like melon kind of note is. It's just not really getting a chance to shine. I will also say too, on like the back end of the palette before going into the finish, you get this sort of slight peaty hint of like mesquite barbecue. Just a little bit of that trying to come through, and it actually kind of complements those sweeter, more desserty notes really, really well. So I I would call this a winner. I think that this is a nice amalgamation of everything that so far I love about Scotch, except for the proofage. Like I know this is gonna sound weird, but I kind of feel like with the fact that I've had a few higher proof scotches lately that have been just mind-blowingly awesome. Anytime I try something that's below 50%, it just feels like something is missing. It feels like it could be amazing, but because it doesn't have that alcohol underneath it, pushing all those flavor notes to the forefront, it's just not taking it into upper Ashton territory for me. And I know that this is Shivas Regal. What they're out to do is they're not necessarily out to, like, bring in any whiskey enthusiasts or snobs in. They're looking to make as much money as possible, which is why they do blends. Which is why they try to make the smoothest, most easiest sipping scotches imaginable. But I can't help but taste this and think, what if? So thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to this channel, tons more of this content to come. And as always, remember, take what you do seriously, but do not take yourselves too seriously.